Hello and good morning. It's Phil Thatch here and I am at Reflection Riding Arboretum and Nature Center in Chattanooga. Right behind me is their famous tree house that's above the water. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, right over there is Paddler's Perch and Lookout Creek. And I'm here because my friend Joy Adams found a prothonotary warbler here and I'm hoping to capture it with some stills and video. So far I haven't seen it, but Let's see if I can find it a little later. Well, look, there it is. My first decent picture of a prothonotary warbler. I've seen them before and photographed them before, but never anywhere near as good as this. So I'm really thrilled for this opportunity that I had. George Bryan Discovery Forest Treehouse. This place is awesome. I don't think I did a good enough job capturing how amazing it is when you're in this treehouse seeing the trees come through the floor and out the ceiling, but it's really cool. This great blue hair and stained glass window is awesome. I really love it, especially this time of day when the light's coming through and it's pretty dark inside the treehouse. So here is the treehouse and this is the boardwalk looking back towards the trail that goes to the parking lot and there's my camera it's actually not on the warbler nest right now i've got it looking at a bluebird nest that robert told me about but right right there is the tree that has the warbler nest in it Unbelievable. You can look right down on it from this boardwalk. Well, there it is, the prothonotary warbler at its nest. This is the only time that it landed on the nest while I was there, or that I observed it may have while I was looking at other things. You can probably hear my D500 shooting away while I made this video with the Z6. So I had two cameras going, trying to get as much as I could Look, it ate the grub that it brought to the nest. Or maybe that's a worm, I'm not sure. Towards the end of this clip, you can probably hear some elementary school students that were leaving the treehouse and walking right past my camera. And I don't know if the warbler was just ready to leave the nest or if the students spooked the warbler, but it left right about the same time as a complete group of students was walking past. There she goes. So this still I made on the other side of the boardwalk just before it came to the nest. That's the same grub or worm that it had in its mouth. And this still, and I believe the next one were made while I was making the video clip that we just watched with the prothonotary warbler on the nest. And the next clip, the warbler is in the nest. And like Arthur Morris says, there's always one stick too many. For the prothonotary warbler video, I'm using the 500 F4 and the FTZ adapter and the Z6. I had a teleconverter on there, but I don't even need it. I went to DX mode, so I'm at 750 millimeters and I'm shooting a 1 60th of a second F11. Auto ISO, it's bouncing around, but it's right around a thousand uh, to keep the exposure just right. And then for stills, I'm using the trusty D500 and 200 to 500 F5.6. That's a sandhill crane that they have here. They have some captive sandhill cranes and occasionally you can hear them calling out. Although this is definitely the wrong time of year for sandhill cranes to be in this part of the country. The students completely ignored the prothonotary warbler, but they loved the turtles. 
So this section of this video will be about turtles. I made a number of turtle photos and video clips while I was waiting for the warbler to come around. And here's a few of those. I'm used to trying to sneak up on turtles from a boat or a jet ski with a camera and the boat always scares the turtles but from here they just kind of let you take their picture or shoot video of them. wasn't very windy so I could get some pretty good reflections. This is my favorite turtle photo of the day. Lots of nice light and nice reflection. I think Joy was the first one to find the Prothonectary warbler nest but uh, Robert also came out here. My friend Robert Scott came out here and found some stuff and of course my buddy Brett Douglas has been telling me about this place for years. He even put me on his membership one year and I failed to take proper advantage of it. But uh, anyway, lots and lots of friends. It's good to have friends uh, who do wildlife photography because they can kind of help you out, show you where stuff is. Uh, there is a very difficult to spot and blocked by leaves, but there's a red shoulder hawk nest right over there and uh, right over there is a bluebird nest. I didn't really get much at the bluebird nest that Robert told me about but I did get this short clip and now we're back to the prothonotary warbler and this is my second favorite photo of the day and here comes number one. This one's my favorite of course you've already seen it because I used it as the thumbnail for this video but I left the background at the same amount of brightness that it was and then I brightened up the bird quite a bit when I did post on this. I really like this one. Thanks also to Jessica Whitehorn. She's a photography acquaintance of mine who works here and she told me right where to go. She reiterated Joy's directions but especially thanks to Joy who found this nest as far as I know and immediately sent me a message saying you've got to go here. So thanks very much to Joy Adams. Well, I've been hanging around here at the treehouse where the prothonotary warbler nest is for, I guess, a couple of hours. And the, the, the male has only come down and landed on the nest once while I've been here. Fortunately, I did get video of that. Um, and I got some pictures of him around various places. Not as many as I would have liked, but the, definitely the most prothonotary warbler pictures I've ever gotten. So I am very pleased. And uh, I think I'm going to head on out now and maybe... Uh, I may, there's a, there's a driving path around this place, so I may drive it. I don't think I'm going to do any more hiking. Um, but anyway, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. That really makes a difference. And if you want to see some more content like this, hit the subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.